so all good things must come to an end. So I have left Tuella, Utah, where my family lives, and I've come back to Moab. <laughs> So I came to Meadow Hot Springs and it's really nice here. Um, there's three pools, one is cold, one is warm, pretty warm, like a little bit colder than what I would put my bath water at. And the, the last one is pretty warm. Um, it's really, that's actually pretty nice. There's a lot of people here. Uh, it's not like super secluded or anything, but it's a cool place. Let me show you. All good things must come to an end. So I have left Tuella, Utah, where my family lives, and I've come back to Moab because I really like it here. But I'm gonna start the next leg of my journey now. Do a little bit more traveling. It was really nice spending time with my family. I haven't seen them in a really long time. But now I'm on to different adventures and um, we'll see what the future holds. So I came back to Moab because I really, really loved it here last time I was here. But it's been about a month since I was here last and the weather is completely different. And I knew that that would happen because it's a desert here, but it is so hot um, that today, instead of hanging out in Moab, I'm going to be driving to Grand Junction because it's the nearest place with the Walmart or any kind of store where I can buy a swamp cooler or something. I got this little fan here. Um, and it doesn't help at all. It's too hot. Um, if it was just me, I probably would deal with it. Um, it's not so hot that I couldn't deal. It was like 92 yesterday. It's supposed to be like 98 today. But uh, my little guy, Frankie, man, he's, he don't like the heat. And um, so yesterday I was dipping his bandana in like my cooler, my ice water, and putting it on him. Um, which helped a lot, but it was annoying to have to keep doing it over and over. So today I'm going to go see if I can find something to help keep the van a little cooler. Um, only because I have to be in Las Vegas in a couple weeks and then I'm spending some time out there. So I, I am going to be in the desert for the next probably three weeks. Um, otherwise, I would just leave. <laughs> I would just leave. I'd be like, oh, I'll just go somewhere that's not the desert during the summer. But um, that's what my plan is. So. So on the never ending quest to cool off this van without cutting a hole in my roof and putting in a fan, a uh, bunch of reasons I don't want to do that. One, my roof is taken up with the solar and the cargo and also um, the headliner inside is really nice and I don't want to cut a hole in it. So anyway, um, instead of going to try to find a swamp cooler, which may or may not work, what I have decided on doing instead is to go buy some Reflectix. I have um, on this window here behind me, I don't, you can't really see it in this video, but um, I got one of those like window, windshield sh shades, you know, the reflecty ones to keep it cool in here. And I cut it up and I put it in that window and it makes a huge difference even just in that one window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go buy some more of that stuff but in like the roll from Home Depot and um, 
make window covers to go in all the windows. So whichever windows are facing the sun, I can pop it up in there. Um, and I think that is gonna help a lot. And then I'm gonna create a wind tunnel with the fan that I got. In my passenger window, I have this little cage here so that you can get airflow um, and not leave my window open, basically. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that and my fan in the window and, um, well, not just that, because I have to create a, a seal kind of around it. Anyway, I'm gonna replace this meshy thing with a fan so I can make a wind tunnel through here and between the reflectix and the wind tunnel, I think, I think I'm gonna be able to keep this beast a little bit cooler. Uh, right now I have, excuse the mess, I have Frankie back there laying on his cooling mat, which I put um, ice water in it today, so it was cold. Um, it got really hot the other day and it's just been like a heat pad, it's gross. So anyway, yeah, I made it cool and now he's loving it, which is great because he never really was into that thing before, but I think now that he realizes that it's helping him stay cool, now he's gonna use it, which is perfect because I want my little guy to be comfortable. This whole thing is for him to be comfortable because I know I'm not gonna die from the heat, <laughs> but he can't talk. So I need to make sure you can do everything I can to take good care of him because he's really important to me. And um, and I took on the responsibility to keep him safe, you know, and I would really hate it if something happened to him. So I'm doing everything I possibly can do to make sure that he is as safe as can be. Okay, so over there I have a fan that's facing out. And then all the other windows are closed except for that one right there is open. And I have this little fan here to help with the airflow. So that fan, that fan is sucking all the air out through this window, through the van, out there. And uh, it's kind of a nice breeze. It's kind of a nice breeze. All right, so this is done. I actually didn't need to stick it down at all. It just kind of is sitting in there. And between the bed and the curtains and stuff, it is uh, staying up on its own, which is perfect. It's did both sides. And now I'm gonna make little removable covers for these windows. All right guys, so I got covers made for every single window in this van. And I have a little bit left over, not a lot. But what I'm gonna do with the extra is I'm gonna put it in my cubby to insulate the ceiling and hopefully cut down on some heat coming in from that open space there. So it's, this is just fiberglass over here. There's no, there's no insulation at all. Over here, there is a lot of insulation. So I'm gonna put the extra reflectix up there. I'm gonna go grab some spray adhesive and just stick it up there. And uh, hopefully that will take care of everything. Look how dark it is in here. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Ha ha ha. So I'm at the Colorado National Monument and they call it like the national park that you've never heard of. And yeah, I'm really glad that I came here because this is incredible incredibly gorgeous here. This view is just nuts. It's so great. I just left Moab. I was there for about five days and it was incredible. So I'm from California where the colors are like, the color of the landscape is like muted, like kind of tannish, brownish, little bit of shrubs, not very pretty to look at. So being in Moab with like all of the red rocks everywhere and the giant canyons and everything was so incredible. I was just, every time I opened my eyes, I was like, wow, this place is so cool. Now I'm camping outside of Capitol Reef National Park. I'm gonna get up early and go check it out tomorrow. So I wanna bring you along and show you what it's like there. If it is really cool, I might stick around here for another day. Otherwise, I'm gonna be trying to make it over to Zion National Park tomorrow evening. But let me show you where I'm camping right now. It is so cool. When the sun was going down, this was so incredible. The reds were really vibrant, and the tan and white was like really bright. It was so pretty. Also, I'm right here by this river and it is just so cool here. Um, as far as other campers go, there's two people down that way 
high van, and then nobody else. That over there is the road. Um, it's kind of close, but it's not a very busy road. All right, so I hit my first snag in my trip, which is minor, very minor, but um, I was checking my gear before taking off because that's you know the responsible thing to do, and I realized that two of the brackets on one side of my cargo box had come untrued and I lost a bolt from one of them, which is like crazy. I'm so glad I made it here without my entire cargo box like flying off my van. Um, that would be a disaster especially if it hit somebody else. That would be awful. So the only extra bolts that I have are from my solar installation and they're not long enough to hold it on. So I need to find an extra bolt today. I was gonna go down to Capitol Reef and explore the park, but I think that having all of my stuff attached firmly to my van is a bit more important. So I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. I'm not sure where the nearest town is and have no cell phone service here. So I'm gonna drive until I can find some cell coverage, I guess, and then figure out where I can buy a bolt. Nope. 